Begin with pesky pests after a very wet August. Some residents across the Midlands are seeing an increase in bugs and animals and can be damaging to homes and yards. Chris English spoke to local experts about the signs to look out for. This time of year, especially after the storm, we've got a lot of mosquito calls coming in um, and then people are starting to see more palmetto bugs, water bugs moving around. Um, and we're starting to ease into our what we call rodent season early fall. Those rodents are coming in trying to find a place that's warm and dry. And unfortunately, that's a lot of people's houses. <laughs> Caroline Harmon with Ledford's Pest Control says anytime a storm with lots of moisture passes through, it leaves behind perfect breeding conditions for insects such as mosquitoes and palmetto bugs. Experts say there are other serious bugs that you may never see. One of those is the dogwood borer moth. Jackie Jordan from the Clemson Cooperative Extension Office says that these little guys can kill a fully grown tree from the inside out. They can girdle a whole entire branch because they're moving around on the inside. And so you're seeing damage from that. You can see the bark actually lift off. It does cause branch death and, and can cause tree death. Despite their name, dogwood borers can affect a wide variety of trees. They'll go after apples, um, elms, hickory. There's a bunch of different trees that they can go after. A tree in stress is going to have more insect problems. And so when you're looking at heat, when you're looking at drought, when you're looking at extreme moisture, um, where the soil stays overly moist for an extended period of time, that's all stressful for the tree. Longtime Columbia resident Tom Brantley says he's definitely seen a decrease in the dogwood population. Part of the family ritual when we were growing up was in the spring to take rides through Shandon to admire all the blooming dogwoods. It's been uh, quite alarming to me to see the demise of the ornamental trees uh, in and around Columbia. So I think it's just something that uh, we need to take very seriously. It's going to have to be a concerted effort over decades. Amanda Levick lives in southeast Columbia and has a tree in her front yard affected by the dogwood borer. We've noticed a significant decline since 2018. But when it gets to where it's in trunk and it's obviously not going to survive, we'll remove it and not replace just because this is a playground. And Jackie Jordan from Clemson says that once trees become damaged from the dogwood borer, there are certain pesticides that you can use to aid in the elimination of those pests. To prevent the insects from reaching your tree in the first place, though, Jordan recommends laying three inches of mulch all the way around the base of the tree, all the way out to the drip line of the branches. In studio, I'm Chris English, News 19, WLTX.